Good afternoon, what's up? Today we're talking about a rare topic, carcinoid tumors. Thanks guys. Carcinoid tumor, it's kind of one of those things that pops up in general surgery from time to time. It is always on test, but four in 100,000 patients suffer from it, so it's pretty rare. We usually deal with it when patients come in with diarrhea, they come in with nonspecific flushing, abdominal pain, doing a workup, can't find anything except one small spot on the lung or something in the liver, biopsy, it comes out, it's a carcinoid tumor. Everybody's like, whoa, what do we do? Or appendicitis, usually at the tip or sometimes at the base in adults, what do we do? That's really the crux of this conversation. The interesting thing is that patients with carcinoid do pretty well overall, but you still got to know a little bit about it because it will pop up from time to time. Carcinoid, rare, slow growing tumor, neuroendocrine cells, usually primarily in the lung and the appendix. When they're found in the liver, it's usually because they're metastatic. Again, 400,000 adults, Risk factors, can't really do anything about to prevent it other than smoking. It usually is associated with MEN neoplasia. It's not that you are at risk for getting this. This is just one of those things that's genetic and you have it um, for the most part. And it is part of this syndrome. But there are no true modifiable risk factors other than smoking that put you at risk for carcinoid tumor. So you can, do, you can do what you want to, don't worry about this one. Now, as far as the clinical presentation, again, usually someone comes in, right lower quadrant abdominal pain, nausea, vomit, diarrhea, get a CT scan, inflammation or a mass in the tip of the appendix. They feel that there's an appendical lift. You take them to the operating room. They feel better right after surgery. Symptoms resolve because you resected the carcinoid. Path comes back, carcinoid tumor then you have to decide, do you do more surgery or not? We'll talk about that later. The other indication or other time it happens is lungs. People can have dyspnea, chest pain, hemoptysis because the tumor is sitting right there on the bronchus, bleeds in there a little bit, they cough it up, do a CT scan, show a small one to two centimeter mass, biopsy, carcinoid tumor resection. Carcinoid syndrome is usually due to one of two of these that is not cost, caught early and then it starts to grow in the liver or somewhere in the systemic system gets into your bloodstream and causes flushing, causes nausea, vomiting, causes diarrhea. Most of the time with carcinoid tumors, especially those in the appendix or small intestine or wherever, they're filtered out by the liver so it's not as big of a deal until there's a very large burden. Even when it's in the liver in small pieces, it still can be flushed out. So a lot of times when people are having carcinoid syndrome, it is a late presentation, but we still have treatment for it. In order to diagnose this, um, 5-H-I-A-A, this is the one that's always on the test. Um, usually, uh, this is done with a high clinical suspicion. It's using an end product of serotonin metabolism breakdown. We talked about the liver breaking it down. CT scan MRI is usually when it's found because it's a one, two centimeter nodule. It's not something that you're looking for clinical features. It's just like, oh, there's a nodule and they have flushing or, or and they have diarrhea. Let's get a biopsy. That's how we diagnose it. Very vague presentation, not really many modifiable factors but it can be a pain in the butt for patients to deal with if they're having flushing all the time, if they're having nausea and vomiting all the time, and they're having diarrhea all the time. Again, one of those things that you keep in the back of your head, back of your mind rather, one of those things you keep in the back of your mind because it does happen. Now, let's talk about treatment. Treatment, the majority of the time is surgical. Again, these, are, these usually present when they're non-metastatic and are found by chance. So you just go in. If it's at the base of the appendix, you sometimes have to do a right colectomy to make sure you get a negative margin. 
They're usually at the tip of the appendix, so a simple appendectomy is just enough. If it's in the lung, lung resection, wedge resection if you can get it, lobectomy if you can't. The whole goal on treating carcinoid tumors is to get it treated before it spreads. Because these are rare, because we don't watch them that often, we don't, I can't tell you that this is growing six months, six weeks, six years, but when we get a diagnosis of carcinoid tumor, the question is, are my margins clear enough to be okay? If yes, no more surgery. If no, you need surgery. Now, if for whatever reason it's metastatic at the time, you can do some somatostatin analogs to slow the growth of the tumor by slowing the hormone production. But again, this is done if they present metastatic usually. Usually, if it's someplace that's resectable, and every place is almost resectable, even the brain is resectable, we try to resect them. Now, if that doesn't work, you can do some targeted therapy like some of the peptide receptor radionuclide therapy. That works pretty well if, they're, if they present metastatic. But again, most of these patients don't. And then chemotherapy. Now, five-year survival rate, this is actually pretty important. 97% of 97% of people with this that present localized, they're around. If it's regional metastasis, so you maybe have some lymph nodes involved, because all of these somatostatin analog, analogs, targeted therapy, chemotherapy work pretty well, even with regional metastasis, 95% are alive. Distant metastasis, 66% are still alive at five years, which is probably better than just about every tumor we have out there. But overall, because the majority of them don't present with distal metastasis, they're usually localized or regional. The overall five year survival is 94%. That's it, carcinoid tumor, pretty straightforward. When you find it, cut it out, when in doubt. If you can't cut it out, even then, the therapy is pretty good for a long-term survival. Hope this answers your questions. Give me a call. Take care.